Hey everyone, it's Abby. It's the coldest day of the year today in my area and the pups are not happy with all the white stuff all over the ground. <sighs> I'm stuck inside because the streets are kind of iced over right now, but at least it's warm in here. I also have my newest teacup. My husband got me a really fancy floral one. You know, I like flowers. <laughs> Hello, sweetie. I finally got around to making the pockets for my Ever After Danielle dress. I wanted to wear this costume this Saturday of Emerald City Comic Con at the beginning of December, and I needed somewhere to put my badge, phone, wallet, etc, etc. Italian Renaissance pockets are separate from the dress. You tie them at the waist, and you can reach them through the slits of the dress. Some women wear them on the outside of their dress as well. I wanted to make rather large pockets for lots of room to hold all my stuff. I have a bit of fun footage at the end from my time at Emerald City this year. So enjoy, and let's get sewing! I started with drawing out what I wanted the pockets to look like. I want two of them. A nice large teardrop shape with a slit at the top will do the trick. I'll be making them 16 inches long by 10 inches at the widest. I decided that the top will either be 5 or 6 inches wide. I measure and mark my pattern. I mark the center line first. I check how big I want to make the hand slit. I chose to make it 7.5 inches from the top. I decided 5 inches wide works for the top of my pockets. I eyeball where I want the widest part to be and mark. I angle my ruler and mark the slope at the top. I eyeball the curve at the bottom and match up the lines. I fold the pattern in half and cut it out. I fold white cotton fabric in four layers to create the lining of my pockets. I pin and cut out my pieces. A lot of people do heavily embroidered pockets, and I would love to have a set like that. But as I don't have the time, I'm using the brocade fabric from my outer dress. I pinned the pattern to four layers. I made sure to line up two of the layers so I have a centered floral motif on the front. The back doesn't matter as much, or I would have lined up all four layers. I cut those pieces out. I pick out my best lined up motif and I lay them on top of each other. I grab two of the white cotton pieces and place those on top as well. I cut the slit with my paper scissors and then I pin the pattern back onto those four pieces. I cut the slit into the front pieces. I pin the white cotton on the wrong side of each of the pieces. I will be treating the lining and the outer fabric as one. I machine stitch close to the edge around the whole piece to baste the pieces together. I really should have been more careful about how I was stitching, or used a matching thread rather than black, as it ends up showing a tiny bit. But it's really not that big of a deal. If I really care enough, I can unpick the bits that show. Mm -hmm. 
Because the brocade frays a lot, I serge the entire edge of each piece. You could use a zigzag on a regular machine for this as well. Now that I've prepared all the pieces, I can put the pockets together. I lay the pieces together wrong sides to wrong sides. I have this wired gold holiday ribbon that I've had collecting dust in my stash. This will be perfect to use to bind the edges. Usually you would use bias tape for this part, but ribbon in the right size works as well. I remove the wire from both sides and I wrap the edge and pin the ribbon to the edges of the slit. Turning the corner is a bit tricky, but it works well enough. I hand stitch using a running back stitch, being sure to catch all the layers as I go. I do the same with the outer edges. I then run back along the back of the outer edges of the ribbon with a whip stitch. I wanted to make sure everything stays in place and this is extra security. You could use your machine for all of this and then the double stitching wouldn't be needed. Or you could machine sew the bias tape on one side and then wrap it around and hand whip stitch it in place on the other. Or you could machine stitch in the ditch if there's overlap. There are lots of ways to do this. I fold under the top ribbon piece to hide the raw edges and stitch it in place the same way. I need to measure a piece of ribbon to be the belt. I'm making it double my waist measurement. I mark the center and then quarters with pins. I pin the tops of the pockets to the waist ribbon lining up the centers. Off camera, I tried it on and I needed to move the pockets in. I measure an inch in on each side and repin. I sew along the binding of the pocket at the top with a double backstitch through all layers. I whip stitch along the waist ribbon edges all along the back for more security. Thank you. 
I fold under raw edges of the ends of the waist ribbon and whip stitch it in place. And there we have it, a completed set of pockets ready for my event. I can fit lots of things in these, they're going to be so useful. I also ended up creating a matching mask, as I hadn't gotten around to that yet. Thank you for joining me today as I made a set of Italian Renaissance pockets for my Ever After costume. I hope you enjoyed watching the process and then a little bit of bonus footage from my costume at Emerald City. It was a blast going to an event again after all this time. We were very careful even though we both had already had the booster shot. There are new COVID variants popping up all the time and we really don't want to spread it or catch it if we can help it. We only went for half a day to ease back into in-person events. It's really kind of hard to be around a lot of people when you've been isolating so much. If you liked this video and want to see more costume and sewing videos, remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Happy sewing, happy holidays, and stay warm out there. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Is it a... Oh my gosh, it is really cold out here. It snowed a bunch like a couple days ago and then today is the coldest day of the year, which is insane to me. I think it's uh, 17 degrees. Yeah, so I'm bundled up and I'm outside with the girls for a brief amount of time and then I'm gonna shovel the walkway. Yeah. Okay.
Hi, sweetie. Hello. Woo. Hello. Hello, Tiny Wookie. What did you do? Set the socks. Do you want to go inside? Do you want to go inside? Yes, Diana. Do you want to go inside? Yeah, do you?